It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This NBA season in full swing, and we are so glad to have you here with us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. He's excited. Kenny is here. He's excited. Yes. We're just happy to have you here. conference matchup in this one as the Cavaliers come from Cleveland to play this one. 2K Sports brings you Friday night NBA action. With Greg Anthony and Chris Webber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. And a one-game homestand for the Warriors as Golden State will try to recharge their batteries on their home court. Well, they come into every game with confidence, and this game is no different. Two elite teams put each other to the test certainly every time they meet a lot on the line in this one though and coming off their championship last season that success i believe carried right over into this one they played at a high level all year long and stand poised to make another run at the title well yeah and because of their success they go into every game with the target on their backs they have to understand that but man they have been rising to the challenge all right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Smith is the two with LeBron at the three. Kevin Love out there with Jay Crump. And it's Calderon in at the point guard position. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. When James gets you in the air, I mean, you're toast. He's superb at going right into the contact. Has the NBA ever seen a more dominant athlete than LeBron James? He's the quickest player on the floor at any given time and the strongest, just one of a kind. First one falls for him. And LeBron so strong finishing. He's complained that maybe Chris, he's not getting the foul calls he deserves. And he's so powerful. The officials don't always notice kind of the little stuff. I mean, you almost need to tackle him to prevent him from the M1. And both free throws good for LeBron. Well, well it's clear that James is already an all-time great, a champion, a surefire Hall of Fame militia. Outside Curry. Outside Green. Outside for Durant. Three-pointer. Nailed from three-point land. Durant's got his first three points of the game. 
Can't let him get in the rhythm from out there. He's too good of a shooter. It's a pick by Love. Outside Crowder. LeBron against Pachulia. And the baseline jumper, no good. Golden State's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Curry kicks to Green. There's the triple. Green missing again. Now here's Coldero. The kick out to LeBron. Back to Calderon. Shoots the three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. I tell you what, whether it was Steve Nash, whether it was my boy Jay Will or Mike Bibby, when you're open, LeBron James finds you in no time. Terrific recognition. Love playing with guys like that. And truth is, though he misses that one, it's a shot he normally makes. Let's not lie. He has the skills to do it. We've seen that. But you still like to work for something closer. Now here's Durant. Calderon unable to get his shot to go. Thompson for the triple. Crowder pulls it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And that one's good by LeBron. Well, as the NBA season comes into full gear, you really start to see just how big the NBA season is. Chris, would you like to keep it in the two games? Or would you like to change it? Maybe bring the, the schedule and the regular season number of games down a bit. I, I like to keep it the same. I like to keep it the same because it is the same tradition that other that's players think, yeah. Yeah, had to go through it. You know, uh, the Magics, the Birds. You had to play 82 games. I don't think it's too much. And technology today is much better. You can come back. You can recuperate faster. You can come back from injury easier than players before this generation came. And so I, I say 82 games. Two shots. The first one falls. You know what? It's so funny. It's a lot of discussion as to whether Steph is now the face of the league. You know, something Steph himself says he gets a little annoyed with at times. And both free throws good for Curry. Well, one book that is out on Curry is that you can body him and knock him around off the ball. Chris, a lot of teams feel that if you can beat him up as he comes off a screen, he'll be far less productive. What do you think? Well, whether it's true, not true, fair, or unfair, uh, Curry's definitely getting banged around off there. If you watch him off the ball in some game, he gets grabs, push, pull, you name it. And Jose Calderon gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. That's how you come down with the man's man's rebound. He positioned himself perfectly to snatch that board away. Smith kicks to Crowder. And Thompson sends it back. Oh, he hasn't been much of a shot blocker in his career, but Clay denies that. Fades and shoots. Here's Pachulia. And Pachulia with the dunk. And great effort on the boards. And what a move. Yeah. <laughs> that was, guy. I mean, you just will not see him ever quit on a play. That guy is a handful. You've got to have a body on him, Clark, at all times. And how relentless is this guy if you're the defense? He's the first one you're looking to block out there. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Calderon against Curry. With the teardrop, and Durant sends it back. Well, you aren't going to sneak that shot past Durant, not with the reach that he has. He, well, he hasn't been very precise at all. Curry with another miss. The Cavaliers trail by five. LeBron dishes to Calderon. Durant against LeBron over Durant. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And here we can now take a look at how the ratio was between the threes and the twos last season for the Warriors. And the three-pointer was their preferred weapon. It can be a risky strategy, but it's one that more and more teams have embraced over the years. 
And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. Wade's checked in. And you knew after the big decision to come to Golden State from Oklahoma City that Kevin Durant would feel some heat from fans around the league. And overall, he did a good job, I thought, C. Webb, of tuning it out. He had an incredible year, his first year with the Warriors. You're right, Kevin. And fans can hate the fact he joined a great team, but it clearly was the right move for him. I mean, look at these numbers. A career year in so many categories. Field goal percentage, blocks, rebounds. I mean, he just played well last year. He's off on the first. And the former college player of the year. I mean, former MVP. I mean, Durant, the first freshman to ever earn that distinction now at the line. Incredible. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. West is checked in for Green. Patrick McCaw comes in for Klay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for Love. Green comes in for Crowder. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for LeBron. Shumpert in there for Jose Colderon. Green. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Nice. Look how alert Shumpert he is. He knows whenever one of his teammates is open to get him the rock. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Teron Lou and I had a few minutes to share. It's the first matchup of the season against this team, and he knows that they have great shot blocking. But he did say we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack put the bigs in high pick and roll situations and shoot the jumper with confidence. They feel that's the key, Kevin. That's great, David. Thanks. They've got their hands full against a team that plays such tough D. And that's why you got to be flexible in terms of your game plan, particularly on the offensive end. They might have to try a few different approaches till they find one that works. Well, Greg, I think the best approach it's a solid motion offense. A lot of back cuts, ball movement side to side. Against a team with this kind of defense, good movement is always the key to breaking them down. The Cavaliers trailing. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Iguodala, the pass to Livingston. Here's McCall. Fires the three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Andre Iguodala. McCaw has got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Shot and game clock separated by five. To the middle. Here's Green. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Livingston kicks to Iguodala. the pass to McCaw. The three. That one doesn't drop. Shepard. The first quarter all wrapped up and it's been an exciting game so far. Warriors lead by three. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. And a chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. For me, at a younger age, I was never even killed. We would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can and live with the results. Again, just another part of the maturation process for LeBron. He's become such the consummate pro. He is absolutely as solid and steady as a rock at this point in his career. Nothing rattles him. Nothing throws him off his game. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game uh, stats-wise? I tell you what, that first quarter, you can see the game plan is a commitment to offensive rebound. Oh, yeah, this is how they squeezed out extra possessions and captured the early lead. We've got Nick Young, Iguodala out there with West, and there's Livingston, and it's McCaw in at the two-guard position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Livingston, no luck. 
And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting not great, 40% for the game. And Chris, as we know, the Warriors are expected to move over to a brand new arena in San Francisco in the upcoming years. Actually, ground broke in early 2017. Well, it's always going to be the Bay Area's team, you know, that's for sure. Uh, you know, I've seen the renderings of the new stadium, and uh, they look absolutely amazing. You just hope it keeps the same atmosphere that allows the same fans to come. Now, here's Wade. He's coming off a 19-point game against Atlanta. Oh, Kevin, four steals on the night. He relished being a major disruption on the defensive end. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. I, I tell you what, it's like football, having a, a third and 13 and them running up the gut. I, it, it just frustrates the defense. You have to hate giving up second chance points. It's demoralizing. After basically, I mean, you had to stop. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. West has got his first points in this one. Hard work and soft hands. Guys, that, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Now here's Wade. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. You got to stay with Corver at all times. He's an effective shooter off the screen. And here is Iguodala. After Kyle Corver hitting the three. Pass to McCaw. Now, here's Livingston. He's guarded close. Good D by Wade. Over in the corner, Green. T. Wade on the wing. Inside, off the pick. And it's finished off by Shumpert as he lays it in. Now it's a four-point Cavalier lead. I love how Wade actively looks to find the open man. Look, he's effortlessly exploiting any holes in the defense. And it's West missing. A hand right in his face on the layup. Excellent defense that time in the paint. Wade kicks to Green. On the wing, Shepard defended by Young. Rejected by Young. Here's Livingston. Wade with the block. Look at the reach of Wade. He's exceptional at rising up and slapping shots. If he'd been even halfway decent today, the score would be a lot different. But he can't get anything to fall. Well, there have been a lot of great young big men come into the league over the last couple of years, Chris. Do you think the post position is about to make a comeback in the league right now? I, I think it definitely could make a comeback because of the players that we've seen enter into this game, like Cat and Davis and Embiid. But I also think that, you know, the game has grown because we've had to see players like uh, Larry Bird on the post extend this game to three-point area. We got to see Hakeem Olajuwon get the first big crossover. So I don't know if the game will ever be the same with traditional post but I do know the game is in good hands with guys that have great skill sets and so the big man is definitely back. Count it and the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Stephen Curry. I tell you, how do you defend Curry on the catch and shoot? It's hard because he can hurt you from so many spots on the floor. Bangs home the trifecta. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Alden. Guys, Kevin Durant is a unique player. Ron James said he's a seven-footer with six-foot ball handling skills, jump shot, and athleticism. It's never been done in our league. Never had a guy that's seven-foot and can do all that, so it sets him apart. Kevin, I'm six feet tall, and I can broadcast. <laughs> you can, and you can write. And by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. D.A., thank you. Calderon, no good. He's been off target for the most part, but it hasn't held him back as a unit. And Steph Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And here's Calderon. He's got six. Love outside. Smith outside. Off target from three-point range. He finds a major hole in the D beyond the arc. He still can't cash in on it. Curry on the wing. Green against Crowder. Out to Thompson from deep three-point range. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. 
and a chance here to check out some stats on Kevin Love. He's been dominant over the last month. He's averaging 19 points per game, 10 rebounds, and two assists. What incredible numbers. He has been a beast. Yeah, impossible to check right now. When he's on a roll like this, there's not much you can do to stop him. Kevin Durant's checked in for the Warriors. And the Cavs, a powerhouse team, but they're used to overcoming long odds as well. I mean, you think of their 3-1 deficit against the Warriors in 2016 going on to win it all. That, that was just crazy. But last season, the largest second-half comeback in playoff history. In the clutch, they always respond. Green kicks to Durant. Some nice passing by Golden State. Curry outside. They grab their own miss. Takes the three. Another miss by Curry. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. And J.R. Smith picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Calderon against Curry. Pachulia with a clean look. And again, no good by Golden State. The Cavaliers leading by six. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. And that one, good. Love how determined James is down in the block. I mean, he knows there isn't anyone that can stop him inside. Durant against LeBron. Launches it. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Crowder's got his third rebound on the night. Love with the bucket. I like how Love strokes it from the mid-range. A dynamic score when he has room to fire. Here's Curry with the three. And we've reached halftime in this one. Cleveland ahead, leading by 10. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Duran Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? Just play the right way. Move the ball, share the ball, get stops, and get out and run the transition. Always leads to good results. Thanks, Duran. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here. Got Shaq. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you back to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. The game was always within a fairly narrow margin, with their largest deficit of the period being six. With an excellent team performance in the second quarter, they were able to push ahead, scoring easily, and defending with a lot more intensity, pushing out to a 10-point lead here at the half. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? Well, Kenny knows about this. I used to do this to his team all the time. Take advantage of you down low. Mismatch. Barbecue chicken alert. Make good entry passes. That led to some good looks, obviously a lot of points. When you control the painter, you control the game. I was the master of controlling body paint. Shaquille Kiss. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Golden State? It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you could get cold, but that was atrocious. It was scary. And that will wrap up our halftime report, as it's just about time for the start of the second half. the second half about to start here in just a few moments one guy who's been getting it done so far Stephen Curry yeah so far they haven't found an answer for him a, a scoring machine here in that first half oh, well, he's a tricky cover he does a good job of sensing the defense making the right move at the right time the Cavaliers leading by 10 on the court for Cleveland LeBron and Crowder, the tandem at forward. Calderon is out there with J.R. Smith, and it's Love in at the five, down low. Kicks to Crowder. Pass to James. Six on the shot clock. Dishes to Calderon. Cleveland keeping it alive, fresh 24. Love, no good. The active defense making things very hard on him as he goes in for the layup. Curry can't get it to go. Cleveland's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. 
Well, you see a lot of hard-nosed players coming out of Marquette. You know, Jay Crowder certainly falls in that category. 6'6", 235. I mean, he's just a brick wall. Not a guy you're going to tangle with. He dishes it to Calderon. Over Curry. And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Third straight miss to start the half. But it's still early. No need to pack. And he makes that one. Durant's got it back down to single digits for the Warriors. And Crowder said he wasn't always in such great shape, Chris. He was actually overweight, he says, in high school. He has a great father who was a pro player, and his father helped him train. I mean, he lost all that bad weight and, and kept that good muscle. They get it back. And James gets it time to out, go. Time out. Oh, that's a big basket right there after misfiring their first four attempts of the game. Timeout called the Warriors. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought offensively, I really felt like that set them apart. Well, also great execution. Let's not forget about that. Being active gets you only so far if you lack the discipline. West is checked in for Pachulia. The switch here also for Cleveland. Wade, he's checked in for Jose Calderon. And that's what's good about Draymond. He doesn't shoot every three that comes his way. He tries to only takes the one that he likes. Usually over. Shot by Crowder, no good. Warriors trail by seven. Curry on the wing. Let's it go with a three. Wade with the block. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm. And if he does, they can turn this thing around quick. Smith kicks to Wade. And it's going to be a three-second call. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east. Already we are in December. You look at Boston. A terrific position for them as they hold up that illustrious top spot. But it's a long season, as we all know. And, of course, the Cavaliers sitting directly below them, just one spot down. And right now for the Cavaliers, as talented a team as they are, has performed at a very high level this season. Everything's gone according to plan up to this point. That's why you have to give a ton of credit to the players in terms of how they've played all season. And they aren't done yet. Fry, good. And Corver, a team first guy, when one of his guys is open, he wastes no time in delivering the pass. Well, last season, LeBron very outspoken, saying the Cavs were too top heavy. The Irving trade has brought them some much needed depth. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, that catch-and-shoot game of Corver is lethal. His ability to immediately fire off the pass is good as it gets. Curry, good! Well, his strong shooting from the first half has carried over into the second. The Cavaliers leading by eight. James outside. He feeds it to Fry. Outside Corver. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. West dishes to Curry. The shot's good on the assist by West. And that's 19 points for Steph Curry. Their third three-pointer in a row. Corver passes to Wade. There's the pick. He kicks it to Fry. Green dishes to LeBron. No good from outside. Warriors trail by five. Thompson passes to West. Back to Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State. The screen from Thompson. Curry can't get it to go. Wow, he just does everything right there except hit the layup. James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. And that last replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. The three. 
LeBron with another miss. A defender nowhere near him, and he still can't hit it. Uh, he wants that one. And Chris, you had the chance to play with Kyle Korver in Philadelphia. A decade later, he makes his first All-Star appearance. Yeah, he's my rookie, uh, the 51st pick in uh, the 2003 draft. Nobody outside of the Korver family expected him to become this talented. But I, I knew he was going to be a heck of a sniper uh, when I saw him practicing shooting every day. A different look now for Cleveland. Shumper comes in for James. And it's Calderon in for Dwayne Wade. On defense, Golden State. Green, the screen. Corver gets a wide open look. That falls. Nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. If you do not respect that Kyle Corver has been making a living as a sniper from deep, then you haven't been doing your study. You, you don't know the scouting report. McCall. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. If they play it right, we're talking a two for one. Exactly, but you still want a decent look because if you miss, the strategy doesn't help you. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. Smith comes in for Kyle Corvin. Here's Young. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And the three off target. The Cavaliers leading by 11. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Young. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. For Cleveland, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. And Calderon, perhaps one of the best free throw shooters in the game. Perhaps one of the best ever. And Calderon drops them both. Golden State's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Here's Iguodala. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Iguodala's got four points this quarter. Oh, man, the long arms of Iguodala. Such an asset converting around the painted area. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Well, that just shows you can do everything right sometimes but still get the wrong result. And so it's Cleveland. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Move it to the next guy. Drive and kick. Let it come out of the wash, all right? And Steve Kerr asking his guys to simply run their offense, share the basketball. Yeah, and don't just settle for tossing it around the horn. Attack the defense. Play inside out when you can. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Igudala is at the three with Green playing the four. Young is out there with Livingston. And it's Pachulia in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Warriors' five. And Chris, the team you spent the most time with in your career, the Sacramento Kings. What was it like playing in a smaller market? And do you think that's changed for star players today? You know, uh, I love playing for the city of Sacramento and the fans. Because we were a small market, I think we have some of the most passionate fans that I've ever seen in the NBA. But it was also tough, especially playing on the West Coast. Uh, you're the second of the late game on the East Coast. Many people don't see you. Um, you don't have necessarily the support of everyone else because you're not in the larger city. So it, it, it definitely could be tough. But when you're playing a team like the Lakers or you're playing other Goliaths, you love it and you embrace that small David type aspect. And so I do think it's changed uh, because of social media. Uh, I do think it's changed because of the internet and, and specifically the uh, apps that you can now go into the locker room before and after the game. You can get a guy's thoughts right after he made a big shot or missed a big shot. And so I think if you would have had those tools, maybe Maybe it'll be different, but I think now definitely it really doesn't matter what market you play in. I mean, we were a small market at that time, but look, since it's been the OKCs and other teams that kind of have made everybody excited about basketball, so I, I don't think market uh, plays that big of a part as far as your exposure and how much fans can see you. Good over you. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters. Calderon kicks to Love. Smith. And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got nine rebounds now tonight. 
Uh, it's been a rough game for him, but it won't sting too bad as long as they hang on to the lead. And Young kicks to Green. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Timeout called Cleveland. And Nick Young loves scoring and lightheartedly jokes about his defense. Oh, yeah. We always want players to be so serious about the game. There's a flip side to that. A teammate like Young who comes in every day with a smile on his face. It can lighten the mood in a lot. Some changes for Golden State. Durant's check in for Iguodala. Thompson comes in for Young. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. LeBron, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge. He's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. He was very adamant in the huddle. He said, don't let up now. Stay aggressive and do the things that have gotten us this far. We're almost there. Guys? Thanks so much, David. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Feeds it to Calderon. Back to James. Smith outside. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Yeah, not a lot of success for them from three-point range here in the second half. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The Cavaliers leading by seven. LeBron dishes to Calderon. And Pachulia over to help. The feed to James. Now Calderon for three. Smith. Here's Love, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. There's the three, and the Warriors get it back, and the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Wade, he was checked in for J.R. Smith. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here on the fourth. Oh, 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 that's <laughs> what I'm talking about right there. Right there. You got to enjoy watching James go off. When he's hot, he can't be contained. Curry kicks to Durant. The three. And again, no good by Golden State. Look, look, Kev, I'm not sure if it's because he's shooting on the opposite side of the floor this half, but he, he just can't buy a buck. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got four assists in the game. And that's just some great vision there from Calderon to see the wide-open man for the easy make. Curry passes to Pachulia. Back to Curry from downtown. Another miss by Curry. Cleveland leading by 13. Pulls up. High post. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. And that's why you can't stay off of Wade, especially when he's handling the ball. He pulls up on you in a heart. Curry kicks to Durant. Back to Curry. To halt the run. Good on the three-point shot. Curry's got 22. And they're just living beyond the arc here, really, the entire fourth quarter. And you have to like this. Why? Because it's helping them space the floor, which can create other opportunities. Passes it to Crowder. Addition out to Calderon. Just five to shoot. Off the pick. Warriors with the rebound. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. And it's sad because the team relies on him to be a threat offensively. When he's rolling, that makes them a much more dynamic offense. Thompson lays it up off the glass. And guys, you got to ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. Oh, yeah, this is a nice run here, but too little too late. And deep down, I think they know it. Back to Wade. And Durant sends it back. Thompson for the triple. And another three for Golden State. Oh, and, and, and the NBA three-point contest champion, Clay, obviously one of the best deep shooters in the game. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And so here's Cleveland. Seven-point differential. They set the pick. 
Calderon kicks to Corver. That falls. Nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. Yeah, with, with this lead, uh, that's probably going to do it. Fans heading for the exits. Wow, this is just a huge roll win. These guys banded together. Just an awesome performance. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second, and that brings them within single digits. So we see the Cavaliers get the win here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing it. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.